Good morning, everyone. It's Matthew Lee with the Tao of Kung Fu, and I'm here in San Francisco, California. Uh, today, I was going to shoot some of the basic exercises that I do for uh, teaching um, Bagua, which is one of my favorite styles, the most complicated series of movements I've ever seen have been in the Bagua. I love just the challenge of learning Bagua forms. To me, it's the ultimate as far as memory and um, <clears throat> uh, basics of anything are very important. And the athleticism and the balance and the power generation that you get out of Bagua are really, really unique. So you'll find if you've been studying Bagua that um, I'm not saying anything new, but uh, it's always good to revisit the fundamentals. And if you haven't studied Bagua before, uh, this will be kind of a special thing for you to get into because it'll hopefully add some uh, talent to your already developed skills and give you always good to kind of get into something new and develop new skills and become more dynamic is always very cool. So the first set I'm going to do is going to be just an exercise to work on the eight mother palms, but then there's also a series of uh, qigong that uh, help develop the complicated movement and twisting of bagua as well. So first we'll just get into the eight mother palms. And we can also add stepping with these. we would always repeat the other side for those as well. So sliding out, palm up, this time starting with the right, left, palm down. So one of the big things with these is you're really torquing the wrist because it's important in the martial arts, you're trying to break that wrist back. It's very important to be training the portions of the body that are the weakest. A lot of people focus on the strong parts of the body, but you're only as strong as your weakest link. So you want to train the weak parts of the body. So a lot of the hard school of Qigong and exercises are on developing the weaker parts of the body, which would be like the wrist, the lower back, the ankles, that's why boxers do a lot of jump roping and stuff like that. It's not just cardio, but it's also making that uh, ankle joint a lot stronger because all of our punches come from the feet. They start in the feet. Kicks also all start in the feet. So uh, you want your ankles to be strong. Punches when you're hitting, if your wrist is weak, and doesn't, hasn't been uh, trained and strengthened, conditioned, it's going to get hurt. So all of these, you're torquing against the wrist as tight as possible. 
and really pulling in. So uh, for this set, once you come up and bow, you're going to slide the left foot out and pull the hands in. We're going to start with the left hand first. So it's palm up twerking against the wrist, the little finger. Palm up. And then it's twerking the other direction towards the thumb. Palm down. Then it's pulling straight back, like trying to pull the middle finger back up the forearm. Palm out. Then it's trying to pull the middle finger in towards the forearm. Palm in. Then it's chopping down, pulling back towards the index finger. Then it's rising up, pulling towards the ring finger. Then it's pressing up, lifting, pulling back. And then it's corkscrewing, twisting in. So if we're walking with this, it's going to be palm up and twerking. Palm down. Palm out. Palm in. Then chopping down, we also switch, so we're stepping left and hitting right. Stepping right and hitting left. Then rising up. Pressing up. And corkscrew. So that's the eight mother palms. And a good little exercise to start coordinating, mixing through them, and then stepping with them as well.